After five years of tutoring, I finally perfected how to go from any grade into A or A star in A-level chemistry. This works for all exam boards with minor tweaks for AQA. When you're doing AO3 or application questions, look for the clues inside the question itself. Let's say you get a question like this, and it's an application question using the Le Chatelier's principle as well as electrode potential. First thing you want to do is what I just did, which is literally just point out what each of the topics are for each of the questions. First one is Le Chatelier's principle, so that must be equilibrium. This is electrode potential, so it must be redox. This is experimental source, so it's going to be a required practical. It seems very simple but a lot of the times students actually forget to do that just because they're not used to doing it so i'm pointing it out now so that you will do it we're gonna skip the first one because that's pretty obvious it's just using your knowledge on that but the second one it says explain qualitatively how adding kno3 affects the measured cell potential if at all this is where you need to find the clues in the question. Find anything related to KNO3. So it's right over here. And look for the word where it doesn't seem like it belongs fully, aka the word that if you remove it, the whole sentence still makes sense. And in this case, it's going to be solid. If I remove the word solid here, a student adds potassium nitrate to a solution, it still makes sense. Now, usually once we have that keyword there, that would be the answer, in which case you would just say it's a solid, therefore it doesn't dissolve, therefore there's no reaction. But as you can see, the second sentence already says that it does fully dissolve. We want to assume that it does. But it also says it does not react chemically, which goes in line with what I just said just now, in which it doesn't react and therefore will not have any results. And then last but not least, experimental source of error. If we remove the word experimental, one source of error would still make sense. So that means we're looking at something wrong with the experiment, which is usually contamination, loss of material, or parallax error potentially, if there's any readings. What I would suggest you to do in order to perfect this for yourself is to then go onto the past papers or just topic questions and grind a bunch of them because that is how you get used to these application questions and you'll be able to start spotting the patterns immediately.